All right, thank you so much. Um, hello again, everyone. My name is Danielle. My partner Lawrence is on here. He'll be talking later on in the presentation just to kind of go through some more of the Delaware specifics. Um, but this is just to kind of put some faces with the voices that you're going to hear today. So moving right along, Columbus State has is a very diverse college. So we actually have representation from all over the world. Not only will you run into some people that maybe you went to high school with, but you will also run into some people from a very wide background of their lives. So we have students from um, not only all over the state, all over the country, but all over the world. Is everyone able to hear me OK? I can hear you. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, so yeah, we have a very diverse background, wide variety of students attending um, that just might give you a little sneak peek about the college. So here at Columbus State, we have several locations available to you. We have our two campuses. Our Columbus campus is located right downtown off of Cleveland Avenue. If you're familiar at all with the Columbus College of Art and Design, we actually share a parking lot with CCAD. Um, our Delaware campus is just up north, right across the street from DACC. So we're pretty much neighbors at this point, y'all. Uh, we have our two fabulous campuses. If you're able to see my screen, there are also six green dots on the screen. Those are our regional learning centers. We also like to call them RLC. So here at Columbus State, we are all about affordability. Um, we uh, and part of our efforts to keep college affordable for you as a student is we own either parts of buildings or maybe a couple of rooms out of buildings instead of owning the entire building as an attempt to keep our costs down. So these six regional learning centers are different smaller sections of buildings that you can take classes in. The cool thing about Columbus State is you are, once you're a Columbus State student, you are a Columbus State student everywhere. So whether you want to take classes at one location, at all the locations, or even none of the locations, that is totally up to you and depends on what your preferences are. So uh, those RLCs are available for you, whether you want to take classes after work um, near your job in Dublin, or whether you want to take weekend classes <clears throat> near your home, it may be in Westerville, totally up to you. We also have online courses as well as entire programs that are available online for our students. So again, that's totally up to you and what your preferences are. We offer classes seven days a week, Saturday through Sunday. Um, we also have classes that start as early as eight in the morning and some classes that end as late as 1130 at night. So we're not quite on that night school schedule, but we are trying to best fit your schedule. Um, so just keeping that in mind, you know, it's not like high school where you have to be in school from seven to three. You can actually kind of make up your schedule how you'd like it to be. So if you want to work all week and then take classes on the weekend, or maybe you want to take classes a couple days a week and then work around that, whatever your preference is, we have some wide variety of options for you. Here at Columbus State, we actually offer over 200 different programs for our students. Instead of me listing out all of those programs, what we've done is we've broken them down into academic pathways. So Lawrence just dropped our website to our main page at Columbus State. If you go to our website about halfway down the screen, you will see these blue boxes listed out and all in a row. Essentially, what we've done is we've placed similarly related programs in within each pathway. So things like our arts, humanities and social sciences, those could cover like those majors that are listed there. Those could also cover things like psychology, sociology, history, English, um, art, media, wide variety of options there. Um, our constructions and skilled trades could be things like construction. Those could be welding, carpentry, um, plumbing. Uh, as well as some other options for you. So wide variety of options available. It really just depends on what you're interested in. So if you go to our website, like Lawrence posted there, just cscc.edu, again, about halfway down, you'll find a pathway. Um, within each pathway, it'll give you an outline of what our majors that we offer are. And then if you click on your specific major, it'll give you a semester by semester breakdown of the fastest way to complete that program. Um, Moving right along, so Columbus State offers anywhere from one course certificates all the way through two year associates degrees. So the first two types of associate degrees that we offer are abbreviated here at the top. Those are our associate of applied sciences and associate of technical studies. 
Essentially, what these are doing are giving you the opportunity to work in some actual work experience while you are in school. So these are designed to get you not only that classroom setting um, information to learn what you need for the degree, but also getting you actually in the workforce hands on experience. So this could be th programs like our modern manufacturing where you're actually going out and working with companies like AEP or Worthington Industries and putting some of those, um, again, that information that you're learning in the classroom and to work at and an actual job, or this could be things like our early childhood and development program actually has like a daycare facility that's run by professionals and also taught alongside with some of our Columbus State students. So they're getting not only that associate's degree that they came for, but they're also coming out with a year of experience. So just depending on how long you're looking in the school. We also like to point out that on average in the state of Ohio, those who are graduating with an associate's degree are actually making around $44,000 a year. And it's not necessarily too bad, especially if you consider other fields like healthcare, computer science, engineering, and manufacturing are actually making upwards of $85,000 a year after an associate's degree. And if, for those of you who don't know, an associate's degree is generally speaking about two years of schooling. Now, two years is a very general, broad term. It could be a year and a half for somebody who has decided they're going to dedicate all of their time to school and they're going to get in, they're going to get out, and they're going to do it as fast as possible. It could be three years for somebody who maybe wants to space it out, take it at their own pace, you know, pay for it class by class. Wide variety of opportunities here. It just depends. But generally speaking, an associate's degree is around two years of school if you're going full time. So again, if you could do two years of school, make, you know, that $85,000, that's not necessarily a bad gig, especially when you consider when you factor in that 76% of Columbus State students take on no college debt while they're in school. So that's kind of awesome. If you could graduate debt free and come out making even that lower end of that scale, that $50,000, you're using all of that money for your needs, not paying back schooling that you've already completed. Now, while we only do associate's degrees, we do have transfer partnerships that can help with bachelor's degrees. So, you know, if any of you are thinking about being in education, depending on what age group, you're probably gonna need more than an associate's degree. But our transfer degrees are abbreviated here at the top. These are our Associate of Arts and Associate of Science degrees. Basically, these programs are designed for you to get your general education courses done at Columbus State. So by general education courses or gen eds, what we mean are things like English, math, histories, basic, you know, intro psychology, intro sociology, things like that. Those foundational courses that you're going to need for almost any program that you're looking into. Um, but those classes you'll complete within these degrees as well as some intro classes. So maybe you think that welding is what you are passionate about, but you get in there and maybe carpentry works a little better for you. It totally depends. Um, but this gives you the opportunity to kind of work on those skill sets, make sure that is something that you could see yourself retiring out of. And then you'd wrap it up in a degree here at Columbus State and transfer. So again, if you're able to see my screen, you will see a list of our preferred pathway partners. Essentially what these um, these nine schools have a partnership set up with us where if you complete a degree at Columbus State and get a 2.75 GPA from Columbus State, you are guaranteed acceptance into any of these nine schools on the screen. Now, notice I say they get you into the institution, doesn't necessarily guarantee you a spot in your major. So that 2.75 can guarantee that you will be a Cardinal at Otterbein. You'll be a Bobcat at OU. You can be a Buckeye at OSU. I don't know the other mascots, so we're going to stop playing that game there for a second. But that 2.75 will guarantee that you transfer into the institution. It does not necessarily guarantee you a spot into your major. So if you're able to see this link at the bottom of my slide, that cscc.edu backslash transfer, that is where our transfer center actually comes into play. So our transfer center is actually designed for an option where students, or I'm sorry, representatives like myself from these schools are actually available for Columbus State students at Columbus State's campuses, our Columbus and our Delaware campus, for you to sit there and say, hey, I really like Capitals music program. This is what I'm passionate about. This is what I want to do. What classes do I take here at Columbus State that'll transfer into that program? What kind of GPA do I need? And all of those things. So you can actually map out your entire bachelor's degree from your first semester at Columbus State with another institution. So you're not hearing somebody at Columbus State saying, well, this should work or this might be the same. You're hearing it from somebody at Franklin's, from somebody at Ohio Wesleyan saying, these are the classes you will take. This is the GPA you need. And this is how we get you into this program. So it's a pretty cool option. 
Now, again, these are not the only um, course. These are not the only colleges that our courses transfer to. Um, we actually have transfer agreements with 40 other institutions. Uh, most of them are going to be in the state of Ohio, but we do have some out of state as well. Um, but if you go to that website there at the bottom of the screen, you can actually see all of our transfer partnerships listed out. The difference between our other transfer partnerships and our preferred pathway partners is our preferred pathway partners. We know that you're going to work with Greg at Franklin. We know that you're going to work with Thomas at OSU. We know that you're going to work with Katie at Ohio Dominican. And we know that you would need that 2.75 to get accepted. Some of our other colleges like Kent State, Bowling Green, maybe Cincinnati, we know here's the admissions department. We don't necessarily know this, the, the individual's name that you'll be working with, but we also know that here is you know, the general idea of what you need to get in. We don't know the specific GPA, so it might be different from each program, like um, business might require a 3.0 GPA, where education might require a 3.5, different GPAs for different things. So we have different transfer agreements that you can go to. These are just the preferred pathway. At this point, I am going to pass it over to Lawrence to give you more of that Delaware perspective of things. All right. Thank you, Danielle. And I want to thank again for everyone for allowing us to be here today. So my name is Lawrence James. So I'm the coordinator of our Delaware campus um, and our regional uh, learning centers. And so kind of piggybacking on what um, Danielle had talked about with our preferred partners, you know, at Columbus State, we don't offer, we only offer an associate degree. That's what we do. That's, um, but you can actually pursue your bachelor's degree while you're at Columbus State, actually at our Columbus State campus. So I'm talking um, specifically our Delaware campus. So at our Delaware campus, if you are a business major and you're like, you know what, I want to go into business, we actually have a program called the Exact Track program that I'm actually over. And in the Exact Track program, you actually pursue your associates in business management um, while you're at the Delaware campus, but you also will then transfer to Franklin and still take those Franklin courses at the Delaware campus. So you, in, in fact, are kind of getting your bachelor's degree at Columbus State, but you are doing everything at the Delaware campus, and that program is only at the Delaware campus. What also is nice about, you know, as far as Dan Delaware campus, as far as, you know, transferring is we offer also the full Associate of Arts in Science. We also offer the Computer Science, Associate of Applied Science, and then a Certificate in Surveying. So there's some opportunities there for you to be able to take and get a degree and then transfer on. So if you are, most of you, if you live in this area, uh, the Delaware area, you're able to just go right across the street to our Delaware campus. And, and take courses. Again, it's a beautiful campus, very spacious inside, a really great place to learn. Um, and so you're able to go there and pursue your two-year degree and then transfer on to a four-year degree uh, of your choice. So that's, that's, that's something that, as far as the Delaware campus, what we offer. As far as, you know, in the classrooms, um, you know, it, our professors, what's really nice about as far as what we offer, our professors um, are dedicated to our Columbia professors dedicated to the Columbus campus as well as the Delaware campus. And what's really nice about that is you actually get to know your professors all the way through as you're taking courses. Now, if you are in a particular major, you'll definitely get to know them uh, because you'll be with them a lot during those courses that you're taking. Uh, but that's one thing that's really nice about Columbus State is we do have professors dedicated to um, campuses. They're not about uh, you know, uh, publishing or research, they're, they're only there for teaching, which is really nice for students. Also, small class sizes. So our class sizes generally only get up to about 28. Some of our classes can be around 32. We do not have, you know, uh, sort of uh, auditorium style seating where there's 300 students. Very small classrooms, very intimate environment where students are really, again, able to get to, get to learn very well, but they're also get to know their professor in a more intimate way as far as in the classroom, be able to ask questions and those kinds of things. And you'll find that throughout Columbus State in any of our locations. Um, but obviously, if you are thinking about coming to Columbus State, there's a Delaware campus that offers just a very variety of uh, different ways you can learn there. Um, and so, again, our class sizes are very small. And so the main mission, obviously, for Columbus State, <coughs> excuse me, is to prepare you not only for the for success in the workforce, but for you to transfer to a four-year university. And Danielle's talked about it as far as the preferred partners. And obviously, you know, you have um, options when it comes to locations. 
but that is our goal at Columbus State is to get you prepared to transfer to a four year college and, and but do it do so by completing your first two years at Columbus State. Next slide. So campus life. So, you know, it's not all about academics, is it? So when you go to college, it's not all about, um, well, I'm just going there just purely for academics. You want to have a good time while you're at college, correct? And so that's one thing that's nice about Columbus State is we have a campus life. So if we have athletics, we have health and wellness. So like, for instance, at the Delaware campus, we have a gym there with weights and everything like that uh, that you would you would find in, 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 you know, a lot of gyms. It's smaller, of course. But it's completely free to students. There's no fee or anything. You just have to be a student, and you're able to use the that facility. So that's the one way that we're really trying to enhance campus life. You look at clubs, organizations, and arts and events. Those are we have those throughout all of our locations. More specifically, our Columbus campus and Delaware campus. A lot of activities are done on the two campuses. Our regional locations do also have events. We have um, at the Delaware campus, Avery Fields, who's actually our student engagement coordinator. She plans a lot of these activities for students throughout the entire year. And so you have clubs to join at Columbus State, which are really cool, certain organizations, um, and then of course, arts and events. A lot of different ways that you can get involved in campus life at Columbus State. We do also have leadership opportunities and student employment. So for instance, um, we have you know, student ambassador positions that um, you know, routinely go out where we hire students to help us with our mission, basically help us uh, work with students and the, the part about campus life, they're very much involved in that. So you know, if that's something you're interested in, um, there are opportunities out there for you to join that and really um, get involved, but not just get involved as far as making money, but also being part of and working with the student body. So how you stay connected, so you can go through our online format, so it's just connect.cscc.edu, so you go through there, you'll find a lot of different uh, pages uh, that are devoted to just basically campus life. And so that's another, um, you know, benefit of not only just coming to Columbus State, but also having that, that kind of campus and campus life feel. Next slide. So our values. So Obviously, when anyone's thinking about college, they want to know, all right, how much is it going to cost for me to get my education? And one of the nice things about Columbus State is, you know, you've heard about class sizes. You've heard about your sort of the academic side of getting to know your professor. You've heard about campus life. But as far as how much does it cost? So one of the things that I believe Columbus State is very proud of, if you see here, I mean, we it's only $4,880 per year for full-time to as full-time tuition, it's full term, full time as a student. So if you pursue within two years, and as Danielle said, you know, it could take a year and a half, okay, two years or three years, you're looking at ten thousand dollars for a two-year degree, right? That is that is unbelievable, right? And and that's just again, we'll get into a little bit later, but there's ways to even reduce that cost through other means um, that I'll talk on in another slide. But if you can see here, as far as the bachelor's degree, um, if you went to a public university without Columbus State, you said, you know what, I'm not going to go to Columbus State. I'm going to go straight to a university. Now, that includes tuition, room, and board. You're looking at $106,724. That is a lot of money. I mean, that's getting up there to maybe a small house, right, to pursue and get an education. But if you are looking at a bachelor's degree and you're wanting to include Columbus State, then you're looking at between 60, you're looking at $62,988. So a huge reduction um, if you add in Columbus State to that. And that's because we are credit, you know, we have low cost per credit hour. It's around $156 per credit hour. So we keep the cost down, which then if you combine us with a four year education, you can see the cost savings there. Next slide. So this kind of touches on graduate debt free. That's a mission at Columbus State is we don't want our students to go away from to leave us just completely drowned in debt, even before you've even started your four year. Right. The first thing you're going to want to do as students who are, are looking at you know ways to diversify um, your financial um, options at Columbus State is you want to fill out the FAFSA. Right. 
So you fill out the FAFSA. That is your you know federal aid. You can find out what you apply, what you're able to get as far as grants and loans, and that will help as far as Columbus State to know how to put a package together for you. But you definitely want to fill out your FAFSA each year um, as you're as you're in college. But again, one of the nice things about Columbus State is we have scholarships. So we have 130 plus scholarships available, and most do not have financial aid requirements, and they're general and open to all. So when you're filling out your um, the scholarship and you're putting your information, instead of having to go to each individual one and, and fill out, you actually put in your information and then it pops back to you um, all the scholarships that the system believes that you'll be able to apply for and qualify for. But that's one of the ways that you, know, you definitely can save on that tuition. You know, you're looking at $10,000 and you're thinking, hey, if I can get you know, 2,000 here, 1,000 here, 500 here, that just, that chips away at your, um, how much you're going to end up, you know, owing at the end um, as you leave Columbus State. But here are some options here, some examples. You know, you look at first, if you're a first generation college student, you know, you're looking at $1,000 that you could get in a scholarship, right? As a first generation college student, if you're thinking about STEM program, right? Science, technology, engineering, and math. You're looking at future scientists of Ohio, that possibly could be a full tuition where they'll pay for your first two years. So that'll be here at Columbus State, that that's an option for you. You look at the honors program. If you're accepted into the honors program, you can get up to $2,000 in a scholarship. And then your future leader scholarship, which is open, you know, for our 2021 graduate, you know, 2020 graduates now, you're looking at up to $1,500. So... You can see here how if you're able to apply for some of these scholarships, that's going to chip away at your overall tuition costs for Columbus State. And again, our, our thing is we want you to leave uh, debt free when you're done here at Columbus State. Next slide. So how do you get started? So the first thing you're going to want to do um, is you're going to want to apply, right? You definitely just want to apply. If there's no application fee, you see the, the link there, cscc.edu backward slash apply. There's no application fee and there's no essay. You just apply. And then you'll get a, you'll get a definitely a response, I believe it's between 24 and 40 hours. You'll get some kind of response that lets you know that you've been accepted into um, the college. But very easy, very seamless, and it usually takes about 15, 20 minutes for you to, to fill that out. Also, as far as academic records, um, you know, you want to submit your official high school transcript. You want to submit it from your home school. Um, so you want to definitely make sure you can get that transcript sent in to us. Um, you can also, um, if you if submit college transcript, and if that's applicable for you, um, that's also something you could submit to us. And then obviously, if you have ACT or SAT or AP scores, you can submit those as well. Danielle, did you want to, um, you know, uh, talk a little bit more about this this area here? Yeah, so for your um, academic records, we want your final transcripts from your home school. So essentially at the end of the school year, once all of your final grades are put in the system and ready to go, um, those are the transcripts that we're looking for. So if you request your transcripts now, that's totally fine, but we'll just be waiting on those final ones after everything's said and, and ready to go. Um, with ACT and SAT scores, if you have those scores, awesome, we would love to see them. They are not at all a requirement um, for Columbus State. They're just giving us another idea of what classes would be best for you to register for. So if you've done any of that, awesome. If you wanna send those over, we'd love to have them. If you haven't, don't sweat it. Um, when it says college transcripts, if any of you did College Credit Plus, that's what we're really looking for at this point. So if you've done College Credit Plus classes, we wanna make sure that we're not having you retake classes you already have credit for. If you you took a um, college credit plus classes through any college other than Columbus State, you need to know that you as a student will actually need to reach out to that college or university and have them send official transcripts to us because there's a program called FERPA that makes it literally illegal for colleges to hand out student information to anybody other than the student without their explicit um, permission. So you, if you did CCP classes, let's say with like OSU or Marion Tech or whatever the case is, you're actually going to need to reach out to that college directly to have those official transcripts sent to us because we don't want to have you retaking classes you already have credit for. That's kind of silly. The whole point of CCP is to get free college, right? We don't want to have you pay for something you already done. 
All right. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. And, you know, also, you know, as far as you, you being a new student, if you're thinking about, if you are thinking about Columbus State and you're, um, you know, wanting to uh, come to our campus, you know, you can in, um, attend the new student program, but you'll also, you'll want to register for a course registration workshop. So at the, those are, are held at the Columbus campus as well as the Delaware campus. Delaware campus, I know in the summer, we hold, we hold uh, student orientations. They do as well for Columbus campus, but that's an opportunity for you to come um, before you start in the fall, get to know more about uh, Delaware campus, but also that's where you'll register for your classes and get assistance from our advisors. And that's the one nice thing too about our Delaware campus. We have three advisors, uh, it's Scott, Kelly, and Jean. And those advisors actually are dedicated to the Delaware campus and they do um, academic and financial advising. So you can actually just get both done at the same time instead of having to go to one, an academic advisor and then to a financial aid advisor. And they're, because they're dedicated to the campus, you can, you'll be able to see them throughout the entire time here at Columbus State. Um, and so that's, again, those are dedicated advisors. So if you are thinking about coming to Columbus State, specifically uh, the Delaware campus, those advisors you uh, will have for your for throughout the entire time. Next slide. OK, we real fast. We did have yeah. somebody ask. So if okay. you did CCP classes through Columbus State, you do not have to reapply. You're already in the system. We Correct. will want those final high school transcripts again. That flips you from CCP to a traditional college student. But no, you're correct, Matt. If you've already done CCP through Columbus State, there is no need to reapply. Um, you'll just send us your final transcripts and then you'll go to orientation to schedule your classes. Yep. Thank you, Danielle. Appreciate that. <clears throat> so to contact us, so you see here the admissions, um, our admissions department, you see their email there, admissions uh, at cscc.edu. They also have a chat feature. So if you didn't want to email, you could use their chat feature. Um, and then there's also a phone number as well. Financial aid, if you need to get in touch with financial aid, you know, if there's any issues or anything like that, they have an email at finaid at cscc.edu. Um, edu, but they also have a chat feature as well. Um, so if you didn't want to email, you can also chat with them or give them a call. And then for those our international student services and, and admissions, um, you can you can see here there's an email for anyone who's an immigrant, DACA, or other visa holder. You can email there at iss at cscc.edu, or if you're an international student with the F1 visa, you can obviously uh, email as well istudent at cscc.edu. And then there's also a chat feature um, if you didn't want to email. So that's available to you as far as contacting us. Next slide. And so I'm the, um, as I said earlier, I'm the coordinator for our Delaware campus. So I represent our Delaware campus. So this is my information here. That's my email or phone number. You can use either one. Give me a call. I can definitely get you pointed in the right direction, get you um, uh, connected with our front desk staff who then can get you uh, scheduled for uh, to talk with one of our advisors. So I represent uh, the Delaware campus. And Danielle, who uh, was my partner today, um, she represents the Columbus campus, but most uh, particularly the admissions department. So if you need to contact her about anything in general, uh, Columbus State, um, you can also email her and give her a call as well. So yeah, and so yeah, go ahead. I was just gonna say at this point, I think we're gonna open it up for Q and A. So if any of you who do have questions, we'd love to help you either by putting those in the chat or unmuting yourself to ask them.